Guys, today we got an action-packed episode. I'm going to let you know exactly how I am trading this current Bitcoin volatility, what to expect here moving forward, a couple of very interesting things to take note of as well. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And what a wild day we had yesterday, guys. So we did see moving into the data being released, we actually went started to go down here for Bitcoin. This is on the four hourly time frame. So we went down, but then the reaction from the market, once the CPI data was released, the market really did react well. Yes, we went down initially, but then we had a major pump, okay? So this is of course something that was in the car. This is in fact something I had been uh, talking about here um, recently, how we could see a pump based on the CPI data, small pump, and then you could see a dump. I'm going to talk about that dump as well. However, uh, the reason for the pump, which I thought would be, is that the inflation would be going down. That is not really what came out. Instead, the CPI data came out and we actually had increased inflation. So the market reacted well to this, even though the inflation was slightly higher than what was anticipated either way. So this just goes to show how wild this market currently is. But okay, did get that pump, of course, right into the orange box. And now we are finding this being rejected inside of the orange box. So basically all of the supported resistance levels we have been talking about here and moving into the CPI data as well, have been extremely powerful. Even this one, look, we went down, we hit the support level first down here at 18,300, and then off of the triangle, we went up and hit this resistance level at the top. So this is, of course, something I was uh, telling you to be cautious about for so long already, more than one week, how this was going to be very, very um, important to keep looking. And so far, all of the resistance and support levels have been respected here. So where does this leave us? What should we be doing right now? Well, as you know, this kind of volatility is fantastic for the bots I've set up. As you know, I've set up the bots to trade this range and I've set them up to trade this range. So of course, having volatility like this, you know, buying as we're going lower here, buying as we're going lower here, taking profit as we're getting higher. Of course, this was a fantastic day for the bots. You can see that my main bot up 17% here, up 13% on this one. All of the bots are in profit 10% on this one. So, uh, of course, the strategy I've been having here recently, I'm going to remain with that strategy because so far it's making so much money still. And I have no reason to change that plan. I have no reason to change this range. I do believe still that we will be trading inside of this range for a little while longer. Now, on this level, uh, we could... We need to break through this level first if we're going to have a move to the upside, of course. Uh, but even if we break through this level, we do have the moving average up here. So this is at $21,000. This is why I said a pump like this and then a potential dump as we're getting into these levels of resistance. So pay attention to that, guys. Before we are over uh, or we are above $21,000... I would still be very cautious at these price levels, especially as we're right inside or right into the resistance levels here. Look at this. The 50-day moving average, the orange line, went above it, but we are not above it right now. So we could close this candle below this level and, of course, this level up here as well, the resistance level. So pay attention to the same levels we've been talking about, guys. These gave us a very nice clue during this volatility and, of course, we made a lot of profit. And by the way, guys, if you do not know how to set up these bots, I have made an in-depth tutorial about how to do that. I will link that uh, video at the top of the description, so make sure to check that out if you want to know how to set these bots up. Moving forward, traditional markets did see also a massive this was the make it or break it level for the traditional markets. Luckily, we did hold this. Boom, saw a pump to the upside, of course, on traditional markets right into my level of resistance here at 3,714. So even on traditional markets, guys, pay attention to the support and resistance levels. These are very tradable and these are going to give us a clue. So the next step here we need to do is we need to consolidate. We need to break through this level. And we actually do have something pointing towards that possibly happening. So let me show you that in a bit. But before we do that, guys, as usual, if you do not want to miss out on up to $10,000 over on OKX, this is also where I am uh, I have set up my bots. So you can claim up to $10,000. Join the trading competition also. 
you can got the link here and the leaderboard here if you want to see where you are in the standing. So the bounce we saw yesterday is the fifth largest bounce in history. This is absolutely insane. You could see that we uh, opened up at minus 2% and we closed at plus 2.6%. As I said, this is the largest kind of uh, differentiate between the high or the low at open and the gain at close we have ever seen. So fifth largest here. You only have like, this goes back all the way to 1962, 2002, 2008, 81. So it's been a while. So this is very, very interesting. It just goes to show, and on the NASDAQ, by the way, it was the fourth largest, S&P 500, fifth largest. So this goes to show the crazy times we are in right now. Another cause for volatility is coming up soon. So the bank earnings before the open, today. This is very interesting to keep watching as well, because they could be wild. If banks outperform this momentum, probably takes us back up above the local range on the S&P 500, which is 3,800, the local high right, uh, right here, actually. So um, yeah, bank earnings, be prepared for that volatility as well. But all in all, still using the same strategy, still trading this range, still having the bots trade a sideways movement. Uh, altcoins have been underperforming Bitcoin as we went down to the um, orange line down here at 40%. We were expecting the Bitcoin dominance to have a bounce here. We have had a bounce. So when it's time to start to get into altcoins, I will let you know, guys. Let's see if we can uh, move to this uh, local high here in the Bitcoin dominance. And then at this point, I do believe we are definitely looking to get into some altcoin positions, but I will uh, keep you updated on that. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell icon. If you enjoyed uh, all of these support and resistance levels, I've been trying to warn you with. If you enjoyed the bots here, I've showed you how to set them up, how to make same kind of profits I've been making here on OKX. If you enjoyed that, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell and like this video. That's what I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.